On this lesson, we're going to have a look at parallel parking. So I'm going to give you a short briefing, and then at the end of the briefing, we've got a couple of videos for you to watch, uh, so you can see us putting it into practice. So, parallel parking then. Object of the exercise is simply to pull up alongside a target vehicle, reverse your car into the gap, parking nicely alongside the curb, using a space of no more than two car lengths. So the reason why we're going to reverse a car into this gap is because a car is more maneuverable in reverse gear than what it is in first gear. So let's have a look at how we're going to do this. First thing we need to do is we need to find a target vehicle parked up on the left where we can reverse behind it. So once we've spotted our place where we're going to have a go at the reverse parking, then what we need to do is we need to use our MSM routine as we're driving up the road to pull up alongside the car. So you're going to check your interior left door mirror, see what's going on behind you, have a good look at the road ahead, see if anything's coming towards you. If there is, give a left signal to show that you're going to pull up alongside the car. Exactly the same as you would do if you were parking up on the left alongside the curb. So you're going to pull up alongside the target vehicle, leaving roughly about okay, a, um, a door's width between you and the target vehicle, so roughly about a metre, and you want to bring yourself so you're at a stop where you're just slightly forward okay, of the target vehicle. Once you're in position, apply the handbrake and then stick it straight into reverse gear. That's going to put your reversing lights on, so anything behind you will now see your intention is to reverse back, and hopefully they're now going to stop and give you the room to reverse into the space that you require. Once you've got it into reverse, if you used your uh, left signal, uh, switch that off. We shouldn't be using our indicators when we're reversing the vehicle. Right, so we're ready to start the maneuver. So you're going to be using your POM routine, prepare, observe, move, which you would have used many times already. Now I'm not going to be too specific on exactly how much steering and the reference points you're going to be using for this maneuver for the simple reason being is every car is going to be slightly different. Different cars are going to require a different amount of steering and different cars are going to have slightly different reference points for you to use this maneuver. So what you need to do is discuss that with your driving instructor and he will actually explain to you what steering you're going to need and what reference points okay, will help you with this maneuver. So we're in reverse gear. You're going to carry out all round observations starting from your right hand shoulder, right hand blind spot checking all the way around to your left hand shoulder, checking out for pedestrians crossing the road, vehicles coming up and down the road. Once it's nice and clear, what you need to do then is to start to reverse your car slowly back in a nice straight line. What you're aiming to do is get the back end of your car so it's just gone past the back end of the target vehicle. This is pretty important because if you start steering before your back end has cleared the target vehicle, you'll find it difficult to swing your front end in um, and you could actually end up colliding. So, once your back end is passed, okay, then this is when you're going to start putting your left hand steering on. So you're going to start putting your left hand steering on and what will happen is the front end of your car will start to swing out. So have a good check over your right shoulder again just to make sure it's safe and clear for that front end to be swinging out. Now you want to keep that left hand steering on so the back end of your car is now going in behind the target vehicle and what you're roughly aiming to do is get the back corner of your car here so it's roughly about one and a half to two foot away from the curb. Once you're in that position okay you'll probably find that you're roughly at a, a 45 degree uh, angle to the curb you're then going to put full right hand lock on so your front end is now going to swing in. Now again watch out at this point because as you start putting your right hand steering on if the, um, if the road has got a lot of camber on it you could find that the car will start to speed up. So you just want to dip your clutch a little bit and softly use the brakes to keep control of your speed. Once the car is nice and straight then what you need to do is now just straighten your wheels up. So get your wheels nice and straight so you're now parallel to the curb and then apply the handbrake pop it back into neutral and that's really okay your maneuver done so you'll find that you you should be able to do this maneuver okay well within one and a half car lengths okay the requirement is two car lengths but you'll do it in one and a half car lengths so have a look at the video you can see us putting it into practice and hopefully you can have a go at this okay on your next driving lesson okay then Steve so give your all-round observation checks for your maneuver 
Okay. Okay. Yeah. And when it's safe to do so, slowly reverse so the back of the target car is in the middle of your quarter window, and then one full turn of left steering, please. Good. Another quick check over your right shoulder, back to your left shoulder, looking at the curb in your rear window. So it's moving from the left corner over to the right corner. Yes. Yep. As soon as it disappears in that right corner, you're going to put full right lock on. She's doing now. Good, nice and slowly in, looking behind you and forward, watching your front end. Once your front end is in, you're going to straighten your wheels up. And then bring the car to a stop and secure the car place. Thank you.